Hello. Hi. You're kind of jumping all over the place. You know, I was in a Zoom last night and that happened for the first, I don't know, minute and then it stopped. Oh, all right. Well, hopefully it'll stop. You know what? I think while it's just the two of us, I'm going to leave and come back in and see if that helps. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be here. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's your family? They're good. Everyone's good. That's great. School vacation week, so it's been uh, a nice week off. <laughs> I guess it's only Wednesday. It feels like it's been longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> so how are, old are, are your kids? They are 21 months. Okay. So they'll they'll be two in a couple months. So yeah. they're they're fun. Lot, lot of moving parts, but it's fun. <laughs> I saw the um, Historical Society flyer. I didn't realize that you're also involved with that, Nancy. Oh yeah, big time. I was reading that last night. That was a great flyer. Oh, good. Yeah, I loved oh, it. Glad, glad you enjoyed it. We've had some interesting things happen and we're looking forward to a big exhibit um, about, um, Norman La Liberté in oh. the in the fall, and we hope to be involving like the Johnson School kids and the Council on Aging and Raw Arts and and all that, and so doing a lot of um, kids education around around this exhibit. Wow, very cool. Want to, that's in the fall, you said. It's going to start um, in. August, beginning of August, and it'll go until like mid-October. Oh, wow. Very nice. So your kids been healthy? Yes. Knock on wood. Mm -hmm. Everyone's been healthy. It's been a long winter, though. Even your friends of ours, every, you know, it's like every week is a new something. A new disease. <laughs> yeah, I know. So hopefully we're through it, but you never know. How old are your grandkids? Um, so Mariana's kids are 13 and six. Oh, okay. So one's at the Johnson School still? Um, so the be? little one is in um, kindergarten. Oh, nice. Yep, and the other one's in the middle school, soon to go to high school, so. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Very um, nice. So the so the Famularis are having the twin experience now. Yes, I know. Have you seen them out? I feel like they've been out walking a lot more the past couple of weeks. I think everyone's out a lot more the past couple. Yeah, of weeks, you know. When yeah, we I know the weather's been pretty nice. It's nice that um, parents can be involved in these situations. You know where it's it's. More kids than usual at a birth. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely helpful to have family nearby. Yeah. I saw my parents and my in-laws today, so I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> Are your in-laws in the area? Yeah, it's, um, do you know Dean Palumbo? Yeah. Um, so Dean and Diane are married to um, their son. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, that's everyone's nice. close by. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. It's really, really so, so helpful. It is. Yeah. And it's just great for the kids as they get older to have family around. And it's just. Yeah. Definitely. Very nice. So can you hear me? Okay. Oh, we can hear you, but you're like jumping all over the world. Yeah. With your.
her two images, the images of the two of you, and not they even were, like, me. We're all now. superimposed on each other, and we look like this monster. Yeah, that's <laughs> so strange. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> So here comes Ellen. Oh, great. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, all right. what state are you in? I'm in New Hampshire. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I always have to ask with you, because- <laughs> I, I know, yeah. So I, have, we have, have, do you have actually, snow? What's that? Do you have snow? We do have snow, um, enough to actually ski today, but there's supposed to be, I think, almost a foot in the next 24 hours. So we'll see. Wow. One one can hope. So. Um, <laughs> and where in see. New Hampshire are you? I'm in Jackson, New Hampshire. Oh, great. Just Lovely. north of North Conway. What's yeah. happening? Well, do you um, guys see what I'm seeing? Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> worry about it. It's not, you're not having seizures or anything. <laughs> <laughs> a psychedelic moment there. <laughs> um, Trish has this weird thing where she keeps changing into all of us. <laughs> I, I'm a little thrown off, Trish. I'm not I know. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should just. I shut, already left. Your, <laughs> turn off. Maybe you should just shut your video off. <laughs> all right. I can do that. I, I left once and came back in and then it was fine. And now it's all jumpy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> to liven things up a little bit. Hello, Paula. Are you there? I am here. Great. <laughs> Great. All right. I'm going to turn my video off. That's a good idea. Because we're all getting. Yeah. Before here. we all go crazy. Well, yeah. Paul, are you going to be joining us with the video or are you good to go or you need a few more minutes? I'm having problems with my video, so let's just, I'll just go without it. Okay. That's what I had to do because of whatever weirdness, I guess. All right. Well, then I'd like to call this meeting to order <clears throat> the new chair of the Open Space Committee, my first meeting running it. I would like to say I am a willing chair of this committee, but somewhat reluctant, just so you all know this. Um, I'm not I'm someone who loves to be, <laughs> I'm, I'm not someone who loves to be in the limelight. So whatever. Oh, I you certainly aren't right now. We can't see you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. I'll stay in the dark. Um, <laughs> I have chaired a lot, here we go, we'll see if this works. I have chaired a lot of groups and committees through the years, but, so I do have experience and all that, but it's not, not like I love being in the limelight or seek it out the way some people do. So just FYI. And I definitely wanted to, well, thank Paula for staying on the committee, even though she's no longer chair. That's really awesome. Means a lot to me and I think to all of us. And, you. you know, thank everybody for serving. And it's definitely a team effort. Okay. Um, so maybe we'll move on to the next item on the agenda, which is approving uh, the minutes that Nancy sent out. Is their motion to approve? I'll make um, a motion to approve. I um, I had no comments or anything, so. Um, I'll second that, similar, I don't have any comments. It was good, good minutes. Okay. No further discussion and all those in favor, I guess we'll go around. Nancy, do you, how do you feel? You do you, what's your vote? I think they're really excellent and I approve them. <laughs> Rebecca. Yep, I approve them. Ellen. I approve. Paula. I approve. Me too. That's everybody in the, our little squares. Excellent. Thank you very much for doing those. Um, the next item on the agenda is the update on the CPC grant proposals. Nancy is our representative to the CPC committee. Do you want to 
talk about them or shall I start and you jump in? Uh, I can just say that um, Trish did a very nice job presenting both of the proposals. Um, we're in a favorable position um, because uh, they really like the fact that we answered all the questions like you're supposed to and put in pictures and made it explicit, which a lot of people don't kind of bother to do. Um, but um, so that we're in good good shape, plus there isn't a lot of competition um, this year. Um, so the money looks pretty good. And also they've suggested that actually we up our fees and that I think will be discussed further this upcoming meeting um, because they just feel like generally up, upping things 10% is, is the way things work in this kind of stuff. So that's, you know, that's or, fine. Or add, adding in a contingency of 10% right. to right. the budgets. Yeah. Right. Um, so you don't get hung up with not having quite enough money or things change right. a little bit. Right. Yeah. So, it, uh, you know. Is there something we need to do to make that happen? No, they'll help us do that. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, that's a topic for the next meeting next week to get that straightened out with the town and stuff. So I think things look favorable for us. Do you have anything to add? Uh, well, to thank Nancy, I was doing my best to cover everything and I got like hung up a few times. I couldn't think of the answer or what to say, but Nancy bailed me out. So that was great. Um, uh, they did stress the CPC about um, procurement and needing to follow the procurement regulations and when the time comes for actually awarding grants, but I just thought they really stressed that, which makes sense. We just, you know. It's the law. We're they happy to follow them. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, whatever, to I guess Tony will be in charge of that and managing yeah, any- I think conflict. Zach will, for us, I think it's gonna be Zach. Okay. Um, and managing the contracts and doing everything that needs to be done. So, and they were very happy that we had been in touch with Zach and coordinating with him and he was on board with what we pre were presenting. And so. so that was good. Um, and they were very positive, I would say, about being happy about seeing the open space in town being well taken care of. And that things had maybe you know slipped for a little bit for a while but they uh just were happy that our beautiful and great open spaces in town were going to be taken care of going forward so that's always nice to hear we did also mention our idea of having our committee um you know the the proposal that paula made just for fyi to them um and what we want to do, and, and they were very, very favorable with that, that we want to keep doing things around town and hopefully have more people. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion on that? Moving Thank you on. both. Oh, actually, I have a question. Um, were there any other proposals that affected any open space areas or other town kind of recreational areas? So um, there's no like standard recreation stuff um, this year, um, like playground equipment, because that work still has to be done from grants of the past that has not been acted on. Um, however, there were two golf course things, um, one of which came from Eric Green and the golf course committee or something, where they wanted to do a study of the water or this or that. And then the town wants to do um, um, replace some of the trees, particularly the willows, 
um, that have been fallen down or had to be removed and do some work in the, in the golf course. Um, and so the, the Eric Green um, proposal got withdrawn <clears throat> because uh, in discussing with the town, it wasn't the right time for it and stuff like that. And I didn't know this, maybe you guys know this, but apparently there was a, a big study done of the water and the drainage and the um, the um, in, um, endangered species or whatever that's in the golf course. And, um, you know, people said, oh, really, that's been done? Like, can you like put this up so we know what's going on? So I just, you know, I know we've talked about it, but I've never known about it. So that's kind of important for us to know, you know, what this study, the town, I guess, paid for it, but some study about hmm. water flow and stuff in the golf course. So, so the only other uh, grant that I can think of is the one proposed by the town to um, replant some of those trees. And they wanted to spend a thousand bucks a tree and put up big trees. And I said, please go to the town arborist and discuss this because it's not always the best way to do stuff and maybe smaller trees that take longer are better especially in that water and please talk to him about what kinds of trees so you know that's a pretty tricky area to be planting so hopefully they'll hear us about that but we can maybe talk to Zach and the other thing is they want to build some kind of bridge that I'm not totally sure of over an area in the golf course um, that apparently there is a historic bridge or something. So to answer your question that a golf course um, grant has been submitted by the town that about it's about trees and uh, a bridge. So I, I know where the bridge is. Um, okay. And it's 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 behind the first green, mm -hmm. and it leads over to the ninth green. It's actually pretty nice, um, or it used to be. I mean, I remember it. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if anybody's looking for us to to have any input or anything on that. But uh, I'm in favor of the bridge because I think it's nice. It's a nice yeah. walking path. Um, yeah, and and um, you know certainly more trees in town, just the right size and the right trees are what I'm concerned about. But you know I I made that clear, and um, we'll keep advocating for that. Okay, but they didn't near they didn't want us to comment on it. Um, so you know I we always stick our two cents in, but. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. There's no further dis discussion on that then. Thank you to Nancy for representing us on the CPC. I know it takes a boatload of time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, not as bad as the FinCom, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next item on the agenda is Bailey's Hill update in the project to uh, work on the native planning for the Fort Ruckman restoration of that slope. Uh, that is moving ahead. I, after some back and forth with the town, we did get a check sent from the town to um, Parterre Ecological logical for so as their contract required so they could start the work and I did check with them I don't know about a week ago just to make sure they had received the check and they had and so work is underway so <clears throat> great to yeah. be um to be clear this is work that is continuing on the on the first grant that you wrote Ellen um uh -huh. with leftover money from that right we're still so they're happy. doing a they, are they doing a site um a site plan is that yeah developing the planting plan for that right. area so okay. we know what plants how many of which plants what needs to be ordered that kind of yeah thing. yeah awesome great thank you with, with planting plan for the fall 
as I think okay. we discussed. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Do we know how much money was left over? It's all very amorphous. It's really hard to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, we just we just got a promise from um, Zach that we what was it for twenty five hundred. It was twenty five hundred to get them started. The contract is just under five thousand dollars, and they right. required and requested fifty percent. Right. So we're um we're we're not quite sure where the rest is coming from or how it's going to work, but we'll find mm -hmm. out. Right. So there was enough to get started. Right. For sure. And despite many. Nancy's mostly many visits to the town hall and conversations with them. I guess we didn't really get a definitive answer about what the balance might be, but there right. certainly was enough to get these folks started, which is what we needed at this point. And they seemed encouraging that there would be enough money to complete it. It would sort of come from somewhere. Right. Right. So, okay. say, Nancy? Yeah. One of, yeah. Yeah. One of the cool things that came out of the discussion, I feel, is that like, um, like Zach said to us, like, I love this kind of work. I wish my whole job was this kind of work. So yeah. that was like really encouraging knowing we got a partner who just, you know, wants to do this work and wants to learn more about it. And mm -hmm. so, correct. Right. And I, I guess I would say it was somewhat painful to get a meeting scheduled and actually sit down with Zach. But once we were all there in the same room, he was incredibly positive and cooperative and excited and you mm -hmm. know happy to be doing this kind of work with us. So that that was great. That was great. So yeah. I just have a quick question. Um, so the right now Partier is doing the site, site study and recommendations for plantings. And so the next grant is for the plantings, correct? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to make sure that was like a, the two-step yeah. part. In yeah. Installation of the plants and actually doing the plant. Installation. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and also, go ahead. Invasive species removal as well. Right. Continuing yeah. that in that yeah. same general area. So interestingly, okay. Zach did not want any money for invasive species removal in um, the in the um, East Point grant, the Lodge Park grant. He just felt they'd gotten that like under control. They've been working for three years. They're going, you know, with it. Um, and, and, and also interestingly, um, he does not want a giant visibility of us up there for political reasons. Right. Um, and, and, and is very careful about you know what kind of equipment goes up there and what we might do so that might be part of the deal too so but yeah. he certainly needs help on bailey's hill as we all know which is probably the you know worst invasive place in town right yeah okay thank you yeah thank you anything else on bailey's hill before we move on to the next item well actually i have something on bailey's hill that I thought about while walking there this past weekend. Um, what does the committee think about doing a controlled burn on, as you look at Bailey's Hill, not the area that we're doing anything, it's the area behind the gazebo to the left of the gazebo going towards the water. Um, I'd urge people to take a walk down and look at it. Um, so if you're looking at the gazebo and the main Bailey's Hill is in front of you with the water to, to your left, um, there's this, these nice ledge outcroppings. And I got the idea from a controlled burn um, from the um, Audubon study of East Point and that in some circumstances doing controlled burns is actually a good thing to get rid of invasive species. Mm. And as we start tackling that side of Bailey's Hill, um, I was thinking, oh, I wonder if the fire department would want to do a training control burn in that area. So it's just food for thought, but so I just thought I'd bring it up. Yeah. If you talk to people, apparently in the past, that was a way um, that, it ha that it had been done in the past, that there's a history of it up there. Um, that, are you talking about the the south slope, 
not the one that we're working on, the one that's further south, and the one we're working on the one that's further north. Yeah, so the further the south slope, sort of behind the gazebo. Right. So that is the one that's taken up by the town grant that was approved last year, um, and and it is mainly about removal of invasives. Um, and um, so, I mean, I th think that's a topic to be discussed and certainly might be helpful. Um, and I, I, you know, that would have to be discussed kind of with the town because it's, it's an open space, but it's their grant. Um, okay. So I, I, I mean, I, we could ask like Tony and, and, and Zach and um, anybody, I, I mean, Josh was kind of involved in that, um, Ellen. I don't, yeah. So how, I think, how, how do you think we should ask a question about it? Well, my understanding is that grant was for the location that's sort of more, and I'm not good with direction, so forget that north south stuff. But if you're looking at the gazebo to the right where the path, the paved path goes up, I think that's the area that the grant that the town. Yeah, yeah. Is. But I think Paul is talking about yeah. as you're looking to the gazebo left towards the yeah, to the right. left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and I think it it's two different pretty, locations. Okay. Yeah, there's some pretty cool when you look when you at the gazebo and you look to the left, there's some pretty cool rock formations that yeah. um and there's some really neat pine trees at the top of them. And I wouldn't want to touch the pine trees. I'd rather just concentrate on below where the pine trees are. But yeah. uh, sort of get rid of the invasives in there. Um, and yeah. expose the rock formations. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that would be neat. You know, there's that. I think we talked about this before. There's that island off of um, Cuddy Hunk that does the um, the burns every every year or every other year because they, you know, it's 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 an environmental practice in that area to get. Um, it, it's good for you know the smaller animals and whatever you know reestablishing the natural habitat. So, oh my God, it works. What's that? My video all of a sudden came in, it goes in and out. So, <laughs> so that's something uh, we could do a little research. Who knows? So we could research how that, what, I forget who runs that island. It's not the Audubon, it's some other, you know. Trustees, I see reservations. The trustees, the reservations. Yeah. Something, yeah. yeah. But so they do do that there. They, you know, that's a, that's a practice that's accepted as we found out with the East Point thing. So some yeah. things are accepted for sure. Yeah. So often I would say it's grasslands that are managed with control burns. Yeah. Uh, this Not sounds true. like this is more of a forested area. Does anyone know where at Bailey's oh, Hill there were burns it's not, before? It's not forested. Okay. Um, there's trees above it. It's all low brush, but it's really thicket brush. Mm. Right. And now is a good time to go look at it because all of the leaves are gone. It's, it is. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about, Paul. It's so clear through to the rocks right now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Something to think about for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I mean, we don't have to make any decisions or anything, but I would I would urge everybody to go look at it and see what they think. Yeah. And to get that on the table to think about a controlled yeah. burn as a possible option. And maybe yeah. just do some research ourselves mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. where it's used. Is that is that where like they burn the Christmas trees? Uh, More to the yeah. right of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of like as the path swoops up, like if you walk up the paved path, right, Paula? It's like almost below that. Yeah, it's below. It's All way below the that. Left if you're looking yeah. at it. Like yeah. where the kids go down the hill on the sleds. Even further left than that, but yes. Okay. But closer to the harbor, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's much closer to the water. Yeah. Well, let's just talk about it with people and look it up and it's, it's a yeah. good thing to can yeah. include, I think, I agree. Yeah, okay. The next item on the agenda is up to out update on town owned land committee is there any update um, news on that? so i talked to dan taylor i think yesterday maybe the day before and um they sort of they don't really have any set meetings or anything so we talked through both um the viviano property at 
Mitchell's Corner and also the Olmstead property. And he's going to bring it up the next time they have a meeting and try to determine sort of who does what. Um, because he's not sure. They have met. Um, I think they looked at, there was a an issue with a street in Tigo Way with the Cardillies or something, and it was where it was laid out and who owned what. So that was their first order of business. They're also looking at the Coast Guard station housing, the Coast Guard housing, I mean, um, and he's not sure when his next meeting is. So um, we did talk it through. Um, he said he'll be in touch, but he was going to bring it up at, a, at the next meeting of that committee. Okay, so there is another proposal, and I'm sorry I don't know the details well enough. Um, where, like, they had there had been a study in Little Nahant about um, a rights of way and incursions and stuff. That there is a proposal <clears throat> to do a study in um, Big Nahant involving some of that, so that that might this might be coming up included on that are you saying there's That's, a cpc proposal for that yeah, yeah okay i think that would be helpful yeah right the question is okay there's all these places but like who's going to do something about it <laughs> yeah it has to be a two-step process right yeah right right enforcement <laughs> And who submitted that proposal? Um, it's it's from the town, I believe. Hmm. Okay. Anything else on that? Moving on to the next item, committee organization. Um, um, so I did... Um, uh, there is a warrant article for to make our committee a standing committee. Um, Dan's group was working on maybe they really had no problems with our language. I don't think um, he was just working on the correct language to include in the warrant. Um, I presume we'll probably have to meet with the FinCom at some point. Um, I don't know if the FinCom has been provided with a draft of the town warrant for town meeting. Um, but um, they said they'd let me know or they'd let us know. I don't know if Trish, they may re reach out to you. I'm not sure. Um, but they, um, but it seems like it's a go when there's a place for it on the warrant, which is great. Awesome. Yeah, terrific. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mr. And the title was okay with them, Paula, that we left out the recreation. They didn't, um, they didn't raise, they didn't have any questions really. Okay. We'll see when it gets printed in the warrant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new business. Um, Paula had mentioned that they're let us letting us all know that there was an open space conference in February. I think it was four different sessions having to do with open space implementing. Now that you've written your open space plan, how do you implement it and reaching out to landowners and ecological restoration through open space plans and that kind of thing. And I know a few of us have participated in those and there is one more coming up that's tomorrow which is about the biomap yeah yeah and those are all actually available um on um um the recorded so you could go to the massachusetts open space um, website and you could watch any of them if there was topics that were interesting to you. Great. Oh. They're pretty cool. It's pretty cool to hear about what other towns do and um, yeah, so I, I found it somewhat helpful. 
the other towns are a little larger than us oh. that they were using <laughs> for their case larger. studies, their examples. Like, hmm, how would we do that in the head? You know, <laughs> but still, it was interesting. Yeah, I was interested. I actually attended one the last one, and I was interested to hear about forestry plans because it was like we don't have any of that. And you know, <laughs> there was a town forest that allowed logging, and should you allow logging? And it was pretty. It was interesting, though. It was an interesting discussion. Yeah, yeah. Like we have not really. We don't really have a forest. <laughs> right. Exactly. We, our, our 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 area is so small, um, but it is interesting what towns are doing. So I was just wondering about um, whether we should think about looking at any places around town to, to like see if we could get the town to buy them or conservation easement on them or like, you know, that place that, that got built with two houses um, on pond and in the Hunt Road. So there's still a strip of land behind there, isn't there, that's still got trees on it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. who owns that? Winnie um, Hodges, I think. Yeah, yep. So that just wasn't bought up in the in that parcel. But um, I guess, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just sort of like looking around town for any places where there's clumps of trees and seeing if we can, keep them and you know that's what other towns kind of that's what some of these lectures have been about how they like how they did all this and got together and um i know in the past the cpc i'm sorry open space committee openly tried to go to people and ask them to put their you know conservation easement on their properties and stuff like that and um, mm -hmm. I don't know how how do we how do we feel about any you know we're such a small town we have so little open space I just hate to see these properties disappearing like on my on the other side of Summer Street is this thing called the Bangs Trust mm. which is a weird strip of trees um, yeah in front of the Hooper's house and stuff. Um, well, and it's on the other side of the street from the Hoopers that the Bangs established that so they wouldn't have to look out at houses across the street from them. They got to look out at trees instead. It's not on the side of the street where the Hoopers live? No, it's across. So if you're going up Summer Street, you know, yeah. from it would be on the right hand side. It's that little narrow strip. Oh, okay, I guess I better look at that again. I can't, then I don't know what it is. But, but I don't know, you know, is there a way that we should preserve that one piece of land behind those houses that Winnie owns? Or is that something? I just, I, I think if anybody knows her, you got to start talking to her and see if she's even interested in it. If a landowner is not interested in it, there's nothing you can do. But if she if she's wanting to sell it, like she did the other pieces, I mean, is is it is there some way that we could that CPC money could be used to buy it? Maybe it's possible. It could be, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. I mean, it's too late this year, but um, I mean, I'd be willing to just bring it up with her. To say what's going on with that and yeah yeah i think it's a buildable lot i my understanding yeah, is, is a buildable lot so that would you know the price is going to be up there on that so but it's definitely worth having the discussion and starting that you know starting with her to see if that's of any interest and then okay so is yeah. that okay if i like talk to her I mean, I, you, you can't commit any money, but I think you can, you know, say, and especially, you know, one of the things about a conservationism is she gets a tax write off for tax deduction. So I don't know if there'd be any um, appetite for something like that. I mean, so there's two options. There's it, it becomes, you know, con conservation protected 
and then she still owns it. But then there's also the town buying the land. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Or a third option of her donating it if yeah, she well, was so inclined. Right. Well, if she sold off those other properties, I'm not too sure yeah. she may need the money. Are there any other places around town that are like that? Mm -hmm. That anyone can think of? Mm -hmm. Not off the top of my head. Pretty built up town. Yeah. Um. Well, there's so the property that John Deneen used to own, the lot that would be oh. on, not on the ocean side, but on the Cary Street side. Right. That's, that's, that's owned by the person who built the house though, right? Yeah. Right, right. I'm so saying, I yeah. actually saw this interesting thing. What is the name of the street? Um, the, the street where um, that comes straight out from the village church, like that goes down to East Point, that street where the Scapin's house Vernon. is. Vernon. 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 Okay, that's Vernon. So there's that big strip of trees there, and I see they're all getting cut down. Yeah, you know that? Shaw Warren and Wendy Warren own that. They yeah. cleared it out. Huh. I, yeah, I think they left a lot of trees up, but I think they cleared out the the riffraff. <laughs> the trees they didn't wonder, like. No, I, I wonder whether they would consider that being put under like easement. Maybe. Because that's a pretty big chunk of. Yeah. I think they just bought it. So you might not want to. That, that might be a tougher one. But did they buy it to build on it? Who knows? Okay. Well, she's on the she's on the tree task force. <laughs> we could uh, we could just bring it up to her. I'll, I'll just ask her. Oh, uh, Nancy. All right. All right. Just trying to think about keeping as many trees as we can around here. Mm. Yeah. Okay, um, also under new business, a friendly reminder that we each need to complete the ethics training mm -hmm. um, that we got an email about it. We need to complete it by February 28th. That's Tuesday, that's coming soon mm -hmm. if you weren't aware of that. Um, I started doing it today, True Confessions. It takes about an hour. I only mm -hmm. got 15 minutes through it and it's um it's very structured so you can't like fast forward or speed <laughs> it up or <laughs> anything like that I guess you have to really go through it so but it's much it's better than the last one that we took it's much more it's much much better done and um it it's I I got it done in about an hour got the questions done and it wasn't, it, I wasn't as terrible as the last one. So I would just say it's not so bad. Good, good perspective. Do we have to send our certificates or does the state? I think no, it's automatic. There's okay. a note that um, Diane Dunphy wrote that said, you don't have to, um, you don't have to send anything in like you used to. She knows. Okay. She'll be automatically when we've done notified. It. So all I have to do is yeah. Any other new business? Um, I just wanted to bring up the fact that I think that the new round of PARC grants, those PARC grants are, um, I think the applications will be opening or are open. And I just thought, I just wanted to put it out to the committee in case we wanted to read about the guidelines at some point and, decide because we did mention that as a for, source of funding for some of our projects that are in our open space plan so um, I don't know if this year is a good year to even think about that but um, we may you know some projects that we have in our open space plan may fit into that grant um, criteria so just wanted to point out that I think the cycle is opening or opened yeah 
And um, who who gives that money away? That's a state grant. It's P A R C. Okay. Yeah. Most of them are bigger projects, but they do have smaller grants for smaller um, municip municipalities. So, was there anything that specifically that you could think of that? Um, not off the top of my head. I know we talked about maybe uh, making some of the playgrounds, you know, more accessible, um, and that might be something. But that's sort of a long range planning thing. So I don't think that's something we could, you know, go forward with this year, but it's something to think about for future years. Um, I don't know. And you can also do it for land acquisition, I think. So maybe something like you're talking about with, you know, getting conservation easements or things like that. Um, but yeah, I will read through it again. And but if anybody else has um, any thoughts on, I just wanted to put it out there that it's mm -hmm. something that's coming up. Good so I just feel like that's something, and I was hoping that this mass open space stuff would have more about that, like where you can go to get grants to do this stuff. Like they had mm -hmm. done that in the past, but I, right now, since that's where we are, you know, I was hoping we'd, we could find mm -hmm. that out, but we really need to get up to speed about figuring out how to get, get money to do these right. things, you know, yeah. beyond CPC. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So maybe this year, we're not ready for that, but future years, it might be a good thing to keep our eyes on. But I think it would be good for us in general to try to figure out or attend some kind of meeting or listen to old uh, recordings that the, the mass open space people have done about that topic so we can all be educated right. about where to go. Um, yeah. So maybe one place for us is to start looking through what other what other recordings there might be that we could look at as a as a group. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for bringing that up. That's important. Mm -hmm. Anything else? So our next meeting, when would be? good time to have a meeting in terms of other business that we might have. Is there something on the horizon we would want to prepare for, put our heads together about? Um, Do we need to meet before town meeting to discuss the uh, warrant or? I don't know. I don't, I, I think it's all going to depend on how it's worded and what it says. Okay. I mean, I just haven't seen anything yet. So I, it's hard to know when I'm going to see something or when. Um, mm -hmm. I don't, Nancy, do you need anything for the CPC committee? Um, well, uh, we'll see as the, as our meetings um, go forward, you know, as to, because we're just in the, we're just still, they're just still saying like, what are we going to fund in all this? So I can't answer that question now, but um, it, it probably would certainly be good that we did all meet beforehand. So we're all, we all are informed. I'm sorry, meet before what? Meet before town meeting. I mean, mm -hmm. do we, ha I mean, thinking should maybe we just meet in April and mm -hmm. then if something comes up, we could meet before. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Okay. Can we do a Tuesday in April or will you still be having CPC meetings on Tuesday, Nancy? No, I think that's going to probably um, wind down. Be done through in March. Yeah. Uh, we should yeah. be done because, well, because con um, the FinCom really needs this information ASAP. So. Mm -hmm. So how about Tuesday? It would be okay. Tuesday, April eleventh. Um, that's, that's good for I me. Actually, I can't do it. You can't. I'm out of town. Okay. How about the eighteenth? Tuesday, the eighteenth. Uh, that works for me. Sure. 
Okay. Rebecca, look okay? Yeah, I'm available. Okay, terrific. Tuesday. It's tax day. <laughs> if that scares anybody. <laughs> Tuesday, April 18th. If we're still struggling at 7 p.m. on April 18th. <laughs> it's happened before. I'm just going to say. <laughs> Not unprecedented. <laughs> I just dropped mine off, so I'll be available. Oh, you did? Oh, you're the <laughs> wow. I have to make most of February vacation. I get everything done. <laughs> One week for a year. <laughs> That's great. I'm impressed. Yeah. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second. I'll second. second. Okay, Rebecca, it doesn't matter. All right, okay. thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Thanks. Bye. See you soon.